Yeah, y'all, I want y'all to see. Y'all see this guy right here? He got the backpack sprayer on. County worker. He's been standing there spraying that one spot for the last five minutes. Now, if I work that inefficient, look at him. Just look. Just that's weed killer. How do I know that? Was I asked him? Look. He's just. He's not got it misting out or nothing. It's just. And he's not moved from that one spot. Look, he's just drenching the hell out of it. Now, if I work like that, if I work like that or let my guys work like that, then of course we'd be out here at 8 o'clock every day. Yeah. That shit's crazy, dude. He has not moved not moved and I, I, I asked him what it was and he said it was a weed killer because I saw him just standing I was just curious I mean weed killer is something that you should be that should be missing out it shouldn't be set out in a hardcore stream you know but he's using that shit like a water hose y'all y'all see that <laughs> hell to the no man and if you work for the county, you can do that, see? But if you work for a guy like me, you're not going to be standing there for 20 minutes with a backpack sprayer on, wasting the spray. Just, I mean, look, I mean, he's just spraying, and he has not moved anywhere. That's weed killer he's spraying. Unbelievable. Y'all see that shit? See, man, there ain't no way I let these guys work for me do that. There ain't none in there? Yeah. All right. Somebody else used to drink in there. Yeah, but that's mine. Yeah. She got $4. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Good morning, good morning, Monday morning, man, Monday morning, all right. So like I told you guys yesterday, you know, Drew's not coming in today. He's sick, and I don't know, you know, when he, I don't know if he's going to be coming in tomorrow either. Uh, you know, I don't know. If he's got COVID, I don't even want him out here, man, or if he, I mean, I don't want him to give it to nobody else, so. But I got, <clears throat> well, Zach is uh, in the other truck today, and I'm headed over here to, <coughs> I headed over here to the, to the first one of the day. It is 10 minutes till 8, and we are cooking with gas already, y'all. We got a good early, good 10 or 15 minutes to head start. That's great. Can't beat that with a stick, y'all, but a stick. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Ain't a lot going on, man. It's uh we got a we got a, a, a big list though. Uh, normally I would have, you know, uh, Drew in the other truck, but Zach's going to have to fill that role today, pretty much. Uh, got to have the other truck going out here, man, because this, it, it, we're not even close to efficient uh, without the second truck on this particular route. Some routes we can probably do, you know, with one truck, but not today. It's spread out, and there's some big cuts, some little cuts, and everything in between. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna get started on this big one, and then what I'll do is after I get going over here on this big one, I will leave Zach over here to wrap this one up, and then strategically I got him doing. I'm hand picking the ones I want him to go do after we leave here. Pretty much the same thing Drew normally does. So on today, on this route. So yeah. Excuse me, y'all. So, I had the, uh, you know, uh, the Milwaukee blower, the, the, the battery power blower, you know, Milwaukee's M18 blower, and I and we I used it uh, Saturday on a job over at, you know, one of the, that big cut that Zach was doing, and, you know, me and Zach was working Saturday, and so I put it on the deck, not on the deck, but on the foot plate of the Ferris. 
and it sits up a little bit higher, you know. So I got home and the blower was gone. Uh, it, and then I looked at my video cameras and the blower was uh, never made it to my house. And I had it in my hand at that job and I remember exactly what I did with it. I, I, because usually sometimes, you know, usually with the with the blowers, uh, not the backpack blowers, but the handheld blowers, I just set them on the on the foot plate of the X Mark mowers. But you really can't do that, you know, with the uh, Ferris mower. So I believe that thing rolled off. You know, uh, battery and all, man, so upset behind that dude. You know, uh, so much so that I called my pallet guy, my pallet store guy, and man, y'all see a new one in the box right there. And a new battery too. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, that's uh, ugly, really bad, man. But you know, I mean, I can't, you know, it cost me uh, $140. I spent $140 on, it's a good deal really that I got, because I got uh, that blower y'all see right there, that battery I just showed you, and the truck, and this. <clears throat> That's an inflator, you know, because, well I've been wanting one of these for a minute, uh, but I only gave the dude, I gave him $140 total. So. A battery in the pack, a blower in the box, and an inflator in the box. $140, Milwaukee. Pretty freaking good, man. Pretty good. So, yeah. That's pretty sweet, man. I love having the, the pallet guy connect. Because I was, uh, I was pretty upset about, you know, that blower. And, but it had to, uh, come off of the uh, of the trailer it had to you know you know I mean I mean come off the mower I remember plain as day sitting on that mower plain as day you know so it's my fault I hate that and it ended up cost me it cost me 140 but it cost me a hundred for sure so you know, I basically did that cut over there for free. Because uh, when stuff like that happens, I don't even feel complete until I replace it. Now, if it had been a $500, $600 item, well, then that would have been, you know, a lot more, uh, well, I wouldn't have replaced it so fast. I would have assessed things a little bit better. But, though, this Milwaukee M18 blower is not that powerful. It's freaking handy as all get out, y'all. It really is. I love having it out here, you know. Uh, but I'm thinking that that blower came off the mower probably when I made the turn out of that driveway. So today, in the course of the day, I'm gonna ride by there and see if I see it in the ditch or something. You never know, man, I have had stranger things happen, you know, so. Of course, I get, by, I get behind Slowpoke Nanny here. Uh, trying to get over here. Trying to get over here to this cut so I can cut us a place to park. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, that was a, that was a bummer, man. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm past it now. I replaced it, and now we're moving on. The biggest thing is the freaking battery, man. I hate losing the freaking batteries, dude. Oh, my God, man, that is crazy. You know, I'm just glad that my guy had more batteries in, in and uh you know he had he had a couple more batteries and uh he had about six of these blowers you know he's got all kinds of stuff man the wall milwaukee you name it man he, he's got he's kind of geared what he buys and i don't know where he gets that crap from dude he gets he gets whole tractor trailer loads of stuff so yeah but We'll continue on, man. Uh, I will probably, well, I know for a fact, I'll probably have the Budweiser out here helping me a little bit uh, up here on uh, some of these properties, these little bitty properties up here. 
uh, if I, you know, if he's available. If not, then I'll do them by myself, man. You know, I probably won't have a whole lot of time for footage and all today, so, you know, because we're trying to, we're scurrying. And <clears throat> I want to get everything done over here that, uh, I mean, I need to get everything on this list done, you know, uh, no matter what. So this might be a day that we're working to five or six. You know, I don't know. I like to think I'm not, though. We do whatever I got to do to make that not happen. You know, so. Yeah. Sweet. I want to slow poke Nanny to get out from in front of me, man. I can't get, I can't. Yeah, and this grass over here is going to be tall, and there's a bunch of ways that we could have done this route, but I kind of want to, you know, consider we don't have the third guy, but after looking at everything and looking at the week and looking at everything that's available to me today as far as labor goes, uh, I think this is going to be the best way to do it. Because, see, when you're on these big cuts, you can manipulate your time a lot better because I can say, okay, Zach, wrap this... Uh, uh, you know what I what I always do on the big cuts. Anyway, it's what I always do. I always cut the cubby holes and and some of the bigger areas and, and get everything cut. You know where they can't miss nothing. And then I intentionally leave uh, a big a big spot for me to cut at the end or for the, whoever I'm leaving there to cut. And it's just according to what the route is. I will say okay, like for instance over here today, what I'll do is I'll say okay, Zach. Go on and finish cutting this piece, and then I'm gonna want you to go to Juju, 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 Juju's house, and then I'll meet you over here at the big cut, at the big one, another big cut, you know. After I go up to Noonan and do uh, all the ones up around where Bo's staying at, and since I'm going up to Noonan to where Bo, uh, up around where Bo's staying at, and if he's available, then I will call him and I will see if he wants to work on about three or four jobs. Not new customers or anything. All these customers know Bo, you know. So, and then I, then I can keep Zach kind of down here hovering around this side of town where it's not costing me so much in fuel. And, and even if I don't get Bo, it don't matter because I do all of them by myself if I have to. Now, if I don't have to, I won't. But if I, if I have to, I can and I will and I've done it before and I'll do it again. It's just about, it really ain't about money or nothing. It's really about trying to trying to save time. So, and me being the business owner, I don't want to, I don't want to work uh, any harder physically out here than I absolutely have to. Because there's a lot of walking on some of these properties. And, you know, I like sprain my ankle or something, man, then I'm down. You know, and I ain't, uh-uh, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. Uh -uh. That's what I hire people for, you know. Let me do what I'm good at, and I'll let these younger guys do what they're good at. It's that simple. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't nothing. It ain't. There's no uh, underlying, uh, you know, reasoning here. There's nothing sinister. There's nothing. You know, I tell these guys, if I don't want to do it. Then I'm gonna hire somebody to do it. And so Zach, Drew, and anybody that's ever worked for me knows that that's how I roll. I'm not gonna hire somebody to do something that I could, that, that I that I want to do. I mean, that don't make no sense, does it? No, it don't. It don't make no sense. So, I'm pulling up on this one right here, this big one right here. I'm going to get Zach a place to depart, man, before he gets here. He's, he's right behind me here in about five minutes. He'll be here. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, we got done with that one. I left Zach to wrap it up. Man, that yard was bad, dude. Uh, it took a lot. I mean, it took a significant more amount of time. Uh, more than what I than what I thought it should. So, man, I should turn right there, dude. Oh uh, man. But uh, yeah, man. So uh, I'm going up here now. See if uh, and and I got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, six to do up here. And if and if, if both available, cool. If you're not available. Cool, it don't matter, it don't really matter to me. I'm gonna do all six no matter what. So uh we should turn back there, man. I think. Damn. Slipping y'all, slip, slip, slipping. <coughs> oh man. Ran right off.
off into a freaking spider web, man. Yeah. see what uh if if, if Bo is 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 available or not man uh you know i gotta put fuel in the uh in the x bar for sure man that x bar is gonna run out of gas and ever since i put that new fuel filter on there i ain't had no problems as far as uh you know it running low on fuel and acting crazy so that's definitely what the problem was so that's a good thing to know you know Nothing, y'all. Crazy shit, dude. What are you looking at everybody Ooh. for like that? Huh? huh? What are you doing, man? Nothing. You're owe somebody some money or something, dude. No. Yeah, you do. You're not really. kid. You can quit playing around over here. You're going to get hurt, man. I know it. I mean, I, I'm working, dude. You know? I'm working. No, dude. See, there you go. Y'all uh, already finna get dropped. Well, you get. Uh, wasn't you just in the shower drinking water? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, damn, dude. My bad. You costed me, man. Hey, I, I ain't got no waters in here. I don't know. Buy some. Oh well. Them people have put you to freaking heck, man. Who? Because you play games with them, dude. Stay out there. I guarantee you I can rent a room there uh, and go uh, in my room and never have a lick of problems. Because I don't get drunk and stupid, man. See, you get. Uh, I know. I know what happened. I already know. You got drunk last night and you started doing stupid shit and then you and then you borrowed you probably got high off somebody's shit. No, I, and you told them you promised them the world today and then you woke up saying, Oh shit, I owe everybody. Now check this out, me and the girl went I said, Come on, let's get a walk on hang and let's hang out. I was I had a buzz, you know what I'm saying? I had my own room. I didn't want to stay over there, I wanted to stay over there. And I said, Come on, let's get you a waffle. And then we'll, we'll go back, hang out, talk with if you want to. You be my friend, buddy. I need a buddy. You don't and need then, a buddy though. That's just it. Then, you like don't need a buddy. Three people showed up. Yeah, you know because saying? she's got folks, man. Huh. Pay some money. Okay. I mean, or uh, or uh, somebody getting something from you for nothing. All for nothing, dude. I bet you ain't got one dollar in your pocket, hungry and everything. It's just stupid, dude. I mean, I I just want to Then you ought to be straight, man. I think it was a sausage, chicken, and cheese thing that she had. She has some food in her bag, like a bunch of McDonald's or Waffle House that grew up. Well, so let's be me and her, but man, they, they so ain't never gonna be like that. She's running game on you, dude. I mean, such. A, I mean, <laughs> they just. I mean, dude, you're not in. The, you're not in the same realm with them. All the people that live there and hang out there and uh, are there all the time. You know, they they run a game on you. They get the girl to come in there. and and run and run to see if you got any money and shit and you know next thing you know you get somebody that spent the night in your room and you ain't had to pay and they ain't had to pay a dollar and you owe them <laughs> you no know, I, I gave them like 10 and she gave them like 15. oh they were just like yo yo you know i don't know you know i, I didn't want them to all that in there yeah, but, he, but but you let all that people come to your room. See, Zach, Zach says he'll split a room where you can see, I know I already know there's going to be a problem for Zach. Because you like to uh, like to run the streets and shit. So, you know, where you got to forge your phone? Right here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you didn't have, you don't, you didn't charge it up when I was in the room all night? Uh, I got a box, but I don't have a board. They didn't have my kind. I mean, I'm working, dude. I ain't got time to, to, to I don't know what you're thinking, man. I'm, I'm in the middle of a work day, you know, working. I got time to go to Dollar General, stop off stores, and all that shit, man. You should take care of all that before now. See? And what's changed, dude? Ain't nothing changed for you. It's, it's all, you're still doing the same stuff. Same thing, man. Ain't boring yet. Should be born as hell to me, man. You should have went in your room last night, sat down, took a shower, and, and sat on the bed and watched TV until you went to sleep. Why you gotta keep going outside fucking with all them people, man? You don't fuck around and get hurt over there, dude. I mean, I don't get that, man. I guarantee if I had a room over there, they wouldn't even know I was there. 
And if they didn't see me check in, then they ain't gonna do nothing but see me check out. You know, why do you want to run the street? You know, got a place for the AC and everything, and you run the street out there, man. See, Zach, 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 Zach's trying to get a place to stay. He wants somebody to split, split, split some rent with him. And I don't know if you the one to do that. I don't know if you can. Can you? You can? You ain't gonna be able to keep living like you're living, dude. You on probation and shit, man. They gonna get your ass, man. You already, I mean, you should just stay, stayed over the county, man. He's doing, he's better off, man. I bet. I'm, I'm glad we start right now. You start right now. I did good yesterday, didn't I? On the job. Working, but that, but, but you, you got to do good out here working for me because I ain't gonna let you do bad. <laughs> it's when you have money in your and your off time that you do all the stupid shit. It's always been like that. You gotta stop that madness, man. Cause it's mad, dude. Zach don't even know what he's getting himself into fucking with you out here on, on in these motel rooms. You'll have every Tom, Dick, and Harry hanging out in his room. You know? Zach ain't gonna go for that shit. You know? You like to hang out. You got, what do you got, Palmetto today? Palmetto. Oh, no. I thought you, you sound it. ridiculous, dude. Palmetto. What, what? No, I don't have Palmetto, dude. I'm doing Ryan Naylor and all of them, man. Right here, dude. Right. Think I'm going to come all the way out here and get you if I'm going to Palmetto? I mean, come on, dude. This shit's crazy, man. If you can't even charge your own phone. I'm in a room all night long. Can't even charge your own phone. That's fucked up. Quit playing on my... No, no, never mind. You can't even use my phone, though. You're not gonna use me. I'm tearing my shit up. I'm sorry. It was man. in there. Yeah, but you, but you, but you. I don't like you jiggling it. Then you make it where it won't fit in my phone. I, I didn't. I, yeah, I saw your hand on it. Dude. It came out when I moved. Yeah, so. I know. It, it didn't come out though. You think it did? See, yeah. I'm, 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 see, I'm already irritated with you already, dude. I want to do good at this room. Yeah, I talked to Zach about that. Though. It's gonna be a better day, you know. Well, Zach is trying to make a move now. He ain't trying to make a move with me. I mean, Zach's trying to do something today. See, you, you, you all over the place, man. You, 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 you need a little more pain out here, I, I think, before you can no, really commit to anything. Hey, you know that, um, the home lodge over there is like only, uh, it's cheap. It's like 50, 60 bucks cheaper than America's Best, by the way. I don't know. You know, you know Zach got to figure all that That'd out. That'd be man. cool, dude. I can't believe you thought of that. Yeah, well, I didn't think of that. Zach, Zach asked me. But see, I'm already seeing that you, that, that it's going to be a problem. You know, I see that it's going to be a problem. You know, Zach don't see that, but see, I do. You ain't gonna do right. I don't know what. I don't know what you're gonna do, but you ain't gonna do right. You gonna always be, you know, doing this crazy shit, dude. You know, drinking and wanting to hang in the street. I mean, you're 45 years old, dude. God damn, man. Grow the fuck up, you're right? Man. Lay down some damn where. Totally right. Give that dude. shit a break, dude. It's old, man. And 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 all them young girls and shit and them street people, they just see you and they see a straight chump. They see a sucker, you know. They smile at your face, and 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 next thing you know, you owe them money, and ain't and ain't done, and ain't got nothing. Quit thinking they're your friend, cause they're not. <laughs> when that bitch is talking to you and smiling at you and all that shit, she in the back of her head, she's thinking how she can get in your pocket. That's what she's thinking. And if you think anything different, then then you're 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 living in an illusion. That's what they want you to think. They want you to think that they're there for you to hang out with you and to be your friend. They're not really there for that. Though. They're there to. They got folks that they running with behind the scenes. Oh y'all, so I, you know y'all know I got Bo out here. He's uh he's 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 working hard, man. But he's sweating like a stuck pig, man. He ain't used to this. That he's already getting on him. So, uh, I got news here, uh, Drew, uh, put in his notice, so, uh, Drew will finish out this week right here, and then Drew won't be, uh, and then, uh, Drew won't be back out here no more. Uh, well, he needs a job with insurance, so, you know, um, really, and, you know, uh, it, it, it's hard out here, man, and everybody's not built for this, and though Drew, uh, He's a good worker uh, and everything. 
I kind of I kind of sensed that this was going to happen, you know. So you know, and, and I'm not I'm not mad or, or upset or anything. Drew's still my buddy, you know, and all that good mushy stuff. But uh, so now you know I have to be thinking in terms of okay, what do I do now? You know, uh, thank God I worked the weekend, right? So. Drew will probably come back out here. I don't even know if I want him to come back out here tomorrow, man. Uh, I just ain't sure, you know. Uh, which I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know, man. So, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, Drew's got to do what Drew's got to do for himself, you know. And uh, I'll get Drew on camera before he before his last day. To kind of tell you guys, I'm gonna to try to get him to try to, 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 to kind of tell you guys why he uh, is not is why he is uh, putting in his notice, and let him let, let y'all hear it from him, you know. Uh, yeah, if he will, he might not. You know, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see. But it's all good, man. Uh, I know Drew a long time, and I'll, I'll continue to know Drew. So, you know, uh, and if this and if his this job thing don't work out, then you know, uh, maybe he, uh, you know, he might want to try it again. You know, that's basically what what uh, what Zach did. You know, uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna wrap these four up. Uh, we got two of them done. Uh, yeah it's all good man the grind is real y'all what is Zach doing over here alright what's happening man what, I mean he ain't even supposed to be over here oh my god alright y'all peace out what the hell dude